the invitation, P.B. Shelley. This is a lovely invitation to enjoy the time of year that promises spring but still lingers in winter, acknowledging that it all melds together into one. The Invitation Best and brightest come away, fairer far than this fair day, which, like thee to those in sorrow, comes to bid a sweet good morrow to the rough year just awake in its cradle on the break, the brightest hour of unborn spring through the winter wandering, found, it seems, the halcyon morn to horror February born. Bending from heaven and in azure mirth, it kissed the forehead of the earth, and smiled upon the silent sea, and bade the frozen streams be free, and waked to music all their fountains, and breathed upon the frozen mountains, and like a prophetess of May, stirred flowers upon the barren way, making the wintry world appear like one on whom thou smilest, dear. Away, away from men and towns, to the wildwood and the downs, to the silent wilderness, where the soul need not repress its music, lest it should not find an echo in another's mind, while the touch of nature's art harmonizes heart to heart. Radiant sister of the day, awake, arise, and come away to the wild woods and the plains and the pools where winter rains image all their roof of leaves where the pine its garland weaves of sapless green and ivy dun round stems that never kiss the sun where the lawns and pastures be and the sandhills of the sea where the melting hoarfrost wets the daisy star that never sets and wind flowers and violets, which yet joy not sent to hue, crown the pale year weak and new. When the night is left behind in the deep east, dun and blind, and the blue noon is over us and the multitudinous billows murmur at our feet, where the earth and ocean meet, and all things seem only one in the universal sun.